the place I enjoy in the backyard. And somebody violated that space. The comfort of home is something we all look forward to at the end of each day. One Fargo woman was robbed of that after she came home to find her property destroyed. Valley News Team's Kellen Harmon shows us how she and her neighbor are putting back the pieces together after some reckless driving took a dangerous turn. It's a story you'll only see here on Valley News Live. It's a crucial part of Linda Heyman's home, the serenity of her backyard and garden. It's as she describes it, her sanctuary, a place to unwind and relax. However, all of that was stripped away when a speeding car spun out and crashed through her fence into her backyard. It was tires screeching going through. The sound, I knew what it was right away, snapped up, and then I heard the, the vehicle go through the fence. The crash didn't just damage Heyman's fence, garden, and yard. It also damaged her sense of home. It feels like uh, you've been violated in some way. It, it's like somebody came into your house and messed with it. This is my sanctuary. This is the place I enjoy in the backyard. And somebody violated that space. It's a, a gorgeous little little thing that they have. And for somebody to come by and damage it is uh, pretty messed up. Not only did the vandals destroy Heyman's property, the vehicle was later found to have been stolen. It's a lethal weapon when somebody takes it out of your possession. People should think about that um, and lock their cars. Both Heyman and Foles say they want the thieves to think of what they're doing to others and to themselves. They're lucky they're alive. They're lucky they, they didn't kill somebody. They need to own up to it. Think about what you're doing. Could have, could have killed themselves. I mean, they came very close to killing themselves. Reporting in Fargo, Kellen Harmon, Valley News Live. No one has been arrested yet, and Fargo police want to remind you to always take your car keys, close your windows, lock the doors, and also to park in well-lit areas.